Hi, I'm Glenn Parry. I'm here at the Naples Service Forum and I'm talking to Dr. Melanie Hudson-Smith from the University of Western England. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about your work in service. Uh, yeah, um, well at the moment I've got a couple of projects on the go. Um, the one that I w I've been looking at uh, most recently uh, is looking at personal data privacy. So looking at uh, how individuals see their their data, whether they know what happens to their data when they when they put it on online, uh, specifically uh, in, in, in on the internet. So uh, and what I've what I've kind of been looking at at the moment is how people value their data in different contexts. So people who use it for email and just searching the internet for you know googling stuff uh, don't take a huge amount of care about what personal data they put online. People who, uh, in fact, for most things, people don't, they're fairly careful. They're not particularly careful. Uh, for banking um, and for uh, anything, any purchases online, it turns out that people are much more enthusiastic about protecting their data. Uh, so, so we have this, uh, this sort of dichotomy where anything financial, people have got, have understand and, and they, they totally get the idea of, of protecting their personal data. Whereas, for anything else, including you know when people wear the Fitbits and things like that, which record some quite personal information, really, you know, they've got heart heart rate, pulse rate, um, and uh, and how much exercise you're doing and where you are at any given given point in time, uh, and people are a lot less worried about that. In fact, particularly those sorts of lifestyle apps, people are much less worried about you know, verging on the end of, of not being at all careful uh, with with their data in that in that er those areas. Uh, so that's that's one thing I'm looking at, um, and the other thing that I've been looking at uh, last year, the end toward, uh, most of last year, was looking at um, customer experience or patient experience in GP surgeries. Uh, so looking at essentially what, uh, how people, what what the um, what the drivers of, of customer of patient experience are in in terms of uh, of when they go and see their their GP, what what sort of things actually matter to them. Um, so th those are my areas at the moment. Okay. Um, and I wonder what you, where, what directions do you think service research is going to take in the future? Um, well, I think focusing on on the, the sort of the, the digital area is is really. Quite important. It's, it's about customer experience, and it's about, um, I think, increasingly going to be about data. That's where 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 the where the world is going, um, and that's a, a big upcoming research area. I think so. So for me, um, it's going to be the digitisation, um, and the bit I'm interested in is is what happens to people in that, and wh how much people care about and know about what's happening, uh, and and trying to see how people can be educated to understand what's happening to their data. I think that's the the important thing at the moment.